Doesn't look like much. Maybe you recognize it. Hey, it's Care. Welcome to my take at the lake. Just a quick flip through for you today. I got I got this at a one of my thrift store hauls from St. Vinny's. It's just a little spiral bound. I think it was meant to be a photo album. Pages are kind of thick. Yeah, they're pretty thick. And there's a little acetate piece in here for a front photo. I had started to grunge it up for my dark fairy tale themed project last year. And I did a video. I'll link that below so you can see how I grunged up this spiral and the center and the page. I thought I did the page edging, but I can't tell. Anyway, this is one of the first projects I've done with my new watercolor fun sprays. These are now, this one's half food coloring and half watercolor, but most of the other ones are all now watercolor. And I have a new project in mind for this. And so while I was doing a thousand other things, I fun sprayed this and I just thought you would enjoy seeing the pages, you know, given our affinity for paper love and paint and design and texture and whatnot. Super easy. When Walmart does my shopping for me, they, they put all my produce in produce bags. So I cut the end off and I cut it in half and I end up with a decent sized piece of saran wrap, essentially. And this, this stuff works great on gel plate printing. Um, I'm going to try some experiments here in a little bit on a different kind of plate. But you don't need any sort of special things if you put, if you put this down onto wet pigment, either food coloring or watercolor, and you scrunch it up so that, and you'll see the design underneath, scrunch it up and then let it dry like that. Put something heavy on it and let it dry. So this particular project took quite a, quite a bit of time, but I was doing other things. So it was in between this and that. And it wasn't terribly taxing. But look at the fun texture that the pseudo saran wrap makes. If you don't have bags, you could certainly use saran wrap. But I like to reuse stuff rather than use brand new stuff. Use what would be garbage. So I just fun sprayed it all over the place, let it dry, and then put more fun spray on it. Or coffee, this is my instant coffee spray. And then put my saran wrap down or my wrinkled up bag. And they're all just a little bit different. I'm doing some painting with black acrylic paint and with a great big brush. And I'm, I filled up several pages in my composition book of unwasted paint that you can only have so many black pages, right? So I, I used the clean off my brush technique in here and in another project that I started. So you can see the underpainting of the black or watered down black, so it was kind of gray. When that was 100% dry, I came in with red fun sprays and coffee. And people have asked before, why do you have salt in your watercolor kit? What does salt do? Salt does these fabulous little, they're almost like snowflakes. Little bursts of chemical reaction, really. And I just think it adds such a fun, again, texture to it. So I have lots of layers here, the, the black and white, the gray of cleaning off the acrylic paint, letting that dry, then the red fun sprays and the coffee. And when that was nearly dry, put the salt on and just let it be. Then of course you have to really brush off the salt. Sometimes though it sticks. I have this as a mixture of all kinds of salts. Pink salt, pink Himalayan salt, sea salt, iodized sea salt, regular table salt, kosher salt, pickling salt, flake salt, McDonald's salt because that's the best and each one of those salts is a different chemical and all the pigments in food coloring and the pigments in watercolor all chemicals and so they react differently together in the fun sprays when it was all food coloring the only color that would work with salt was blue 
and coffee works pretty well with the coffee but now that it's mostly watercolor uh, I haven't really tried it but I'm hoping that it'll work with more of the colors here's a beautiful example of salt fun sprays the teal the pink the purple and then coffee and it really again it, it depends on the chemicals and it depends on the timing to wet the salt will just melt and do nothing to dry the salt will just lay there and do nothing I just I just think it's wonderful and it, it just it's very ethereal this very when it when it's wet and it melts out a little bit like that it just is I don't know I just think it's magic these scratches are from or I took my fingernail and I just scratched it be able to see what I'm talking about all these scratch marks I must have done it on a couple different pages for a particular reason can't tell you that that's a big secret till I till I get the project done beautiful I love the colors here so many layers so much going on this would make great collage paper and again I had already grunged up the center of these pages and the springs uh, the spiral with my alcohol inks and my fun sprays. It's so pretty. I know you're jazzed to know, but what I'm gonna do with this wonderful base that I have made, for that, you're going to have to tune in to something new. Here on the channel, I am starting a, or I have started, a membership. The channel has finally been monetized. I've reached those magical milestones that YouTube has now embraced me in its partner program. And, so and I'm calling it the Krabby Crafter Clubhouse. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to put specific videos just for the Krabby Crafter C Clubhouse. You know, on general YouTube, I kind of have to rein it in and play nicey-nicey and be nice, even though you have seen especially recently, a couple of good rants. Uh, usually I remove them or I just refrain from them. Uh, on the Krabby Crafter Clubhouse, uh, I'm uh, I'm going to keep it real. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm not going to edit as much. I'm not going to hold my tongue as much. But it won't all be Krabby Crafter. I'm going to do a lot of videos there, early access, so that you get the most out of a membership. And a membership is a paid membership. Right now, I think I'm going to put it at $3 a month, so it's doable for most people. $3 a month, early access, and exclusive Krabby Crafter stuff that I won't put on the general channel. Uh, just, you know, let your snarky side out. And if you, if you, if you, one of those people that just can't be snarky and can't be cynical and snide and sarcastic, which is my love language, uh, but enjoy it, this would be for you. You know, you can come and live vicariously through the Krabby Crafter. So we're going to see, I'm going to test the water, see how it's going to go. Uh, again, it's a work in progress, so there may be other membership benefits. I also have Patreon, and that's not going to change at all. Patreon gets free digital kits, free behind the scenes, free exclusive things. I shouldn't say free because that's for paid patrons of the channel. But I'm going to leave that alone and do pretty much what I've been doing there. But I hope to be more active there as well uh, so that I... I know everybody can't follow everybody and everywhere, and I hate having people leave YouTube because you're here on YouTube. Keeping it easy and keeping it simple is, is part of my game plan uh, for my viewers, but there are some things I can't do on YouTube. I can't post free stuff on YouTube. Free digitals, that's on Patreon. And I do a lot of digital gifts for my Patreon members, and I can't do that on YouTube. Plus... You know, having a tiny little bit of business acumen, YouTube takes 30% of whatever membership. So if the membership costs $3, YouTube gets 30% of that, where Patreon only gets 8 So I get to 
keep a little bit of the more of the Patreon funds. But I think the Krabby Crafter Clubhouse will be great fun. I think it'll be fun. Um, and if not, well, then we'll move on. But I think it'll be fun. So we'll see. You, sh you will uh, see a membership once it's active. And it should be active by the time this video comes out. You'll see uh, your a subscribe. And by the way, if you've watched more than one or two videos here, please consider subscribing. 80% of my viewers are not subscribed. Why is that? Subscription is free. Subscription to the channel is free. It has always been free. It costs nothing to subscribe to the channel. Once you're subscribed, you'll see a membership button. And it'll come up and it'll say $3 a month for membership. You could quit anytime you want. Pay the $3. See what it's like. If you want to stay, fantastic. If not, you know, it's not like the old days where you're locked in for a year of anything. You pay until you don't want to pay anymore. And it would greatly help. So it's, I hope it's a win-win for all of us. I hope it's fun. I have heard from a handful of people that they're all in already. They don't even know what I'm up to and they're all in. And I just, I love you. I love you all. I have heard from people that they love when I, when the Krabby Crafter comes out, uh, they quite enjoy those little rants. So you get more of that. And specifically Krabby Crafter Crafts. I am also officially starting my own hashtag um, janet nash at janet nash has gentle journaling and that's wonderful and i wholeheartedly believe in that and i love to do that too because sometimes we need to just be easy on ourselves and go go lightly and tread lightly and do things that don't tax us but sometimes i find myself crabby crafting i i love tearing up magazines when i'm angry <laughs> like it just like tearing stuff up because this is so therapeutic right sometimes you just gotta let that out uh, sometimes you have to vent. I'm all about fo focusing on the positive, my, my positive PCU stuff. I'm all about that. But I'm also a realist and I know that life sucks sometimes or, you know, you get cranky sometimes. That's life and that's okay too. One of the things that drives me bananas, and this, I mean, no disrespect to Janet Nash. I love her and her welcoming nature. And, you know, it's the only live stream that I can stand to watch. I've tried to watch other live streams because I know they're a lot of work. And it's very sad to me when I see somebody doing a live stream and there's only three people there. But I can't stand it. But I love Janet Nash's way of doing it and I and I love the environment however one thing that drives the Krabby Crafter bananas this this whole kumbaya everything's fine it's okay if you're having a bad day I know it's hard to be positive sometimes we need to buck up sometimes we need to spine the fuck up and don't cry and whine oh I'm having a bad day well find a way to make it better you know, I get it, but then there's life things, you know, like a family member passing away or a pet passing on. You know, when you're broken hearted and you're down, then do gentle crafting, then do gentle journaling. But then life, it's okay to be cranky, it's okay to be snarky, and it's okay to poke fun sometimes and and have some good laughs. You know the old saying, if you don't have anything nice to say... Come sit by me <laughs> and we'll have a ball, right? So it won't be for everybody. It won't be everybody's cup of tea. I know that and I am fine with that. If you get your nose bent out of joint because someone has something sarcastic to say. I was watching a video last night, a beautifully well done video on the um, missing airplane that went missing for 10 years. Has been missing for 10 years, vanished 10 years ago. Nobody can find it. 239, 40 people on board. I was watching that video. Very well done. I'll link that below too because it's brilliant. And it's a it's a small, it's not a Netflix thing and it's not a big channel. It's just a guy making videos and he did an amazing job. But in the comments, which I read a lot, there was a pilot who said he wholeheartedly agreed with these theories. And they, they do go along with the known facts of the case and 
the pilot went on to explain why this makes so much sense. And another commenter said, ah, pfft, what do you know? Who says you're a pilot? And who, you know, and just kind of called him out on it. And the pilot went back and said, well, okay, I have this many years of it experience and blah 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 and he just went down the line and he went fact for fact this is why i feel this because of this fact and this is why the guy is right because of this fact and that person who called him out said well you're rude no pilot like that should ever talk to the general public and he wasn't rude at all that kind of oh i'm so sensitive bullshit makes me nuts so there won't be any like oh, tiptoeing around sensitive stuff or sensitive people. If you're too sensitive, I'm too crabby. <laughs> so again, I know I'm not everybody's cup of tea, but I know there are sassy girls who craft too. And even gentle journalers with a sassy crafty side, a sassy sarcastic side, right? It's okay to be both. It's okay. Anyway, this project is for the Crabby Crafter Clubhouse exclusively at least at first this one i might bring out to the public eventually but i'm not sure maybe as a final flip through i don't know so again this i told you in a video the other day where i had a dirty paper towel this is the one where i i put it on and you can see the texture i i put that wet textured paper towel onto the plain white paper and I just went like this and I got a lot of the paper towels texture with the color that it was giving up. This is the original grunging up that I did with alcohol sprays and coffee last year sometime. But I love the pastels of this. More cleaning off of the black brush and then red, orange and coffee spray. You can see more salt. Salt really does well in the coffee. And it shows it, it moved that coffee. And so you see the red underneath the coffee. Very cool. I love these textures. This is alcohol ink from the original grunging up. I love these colors too. The brights. This is the hot pink, orange, yellow blue purple teal it's all here except for the red and the green and then some coffee there wasn't much going on so i sprayed some blue and put down some more saran wrap and let that dry here is water spatter when things are almost dry but not quite it also might be alcohol in the coffee. Not that kind of alcohol, rubbing alcohol. More saran wrap, you can really see the texture in this one from the saran wrap. And the beads are where the paint was really, really heavy, I think. It's the only thing I can figure. That's where the paint kind of puddled under the, under the saran wrap. I love it, love, love, love it. More cleaning off of the black paint with just orange and yellow and red around the very edges. And I spattered some of the water down black. Ooh, she bright. Lots of salt action going on there. So pretty. I'll give you a hint. Angry colors. <laughs> I can't wait to do this project. I'm jazzed about this project. That'll probably be the next video I make is starting this for the Krabby Crafter Clubhouse. Very subtle, but this too is saran wrap. It, it's a different type of bag. You know, the produce bag versus straight up saran wrap versus a Walmart bag. They all scrunch differently and leave different marks. That's what that is. And I just love how it turned out. 
I did the covers as well. I think one of the reasons this was at the thrift store is because it doesn't always close right and it's frustrating. It was brand new, never used. I do have plans for the cover, um, tentative plans, painting it and adding a few things and then something for that cool picture, which I took that acetate out and I cleaned it all off with a baby wipe dried it nice because it was full of junk uh, i did iron these pages when i did when i had them and they were mostly dry i took the book like this and set it up on one of the heat registers so the air would blow up through and dry it thoroughly and you can still see the waves in the pages they're still pretty wavy but i did iron them just got my iron nice and hot and iron i took that acetate out of course and just ironed each of the pages to flatten them a little bit so they'll be easier to work with that way. And right now it's closing like a dream, but usually it doesn't close well at all. It sticks. Now it's, maybe it just needed some love. Who knows? Because crabby things need love too. So look for that membership button and give it a hit. Try it out for, for a month. You don't have to stay. If it's too crabby for you, get out of the lake. <laughs> I think it's going to be great fun. Again, snarky humor, sarcastic comments, crabby crafter crafts, hashtag crabby crafting. Feel free to use that. Feel free if you're angry gluing or if you've had a bad day and you're instead of in the mood for gentle, you know, it's like watching movies. Sometimes you're in the mood for a nice, sweet, romantic comedy. But sometimes you're in the mood to watch shit blow up, <laughs> right? Sometimes it's just fun to watch cars drive into each other, right? Bumper cars, smash them up cars, race them derby cars, right? We all have a range of moods, and I am here to represent the crabby side. Mm hmm Go love up your beastlies. Find yourself a crabby craft. Do some crabby crafting. I'd love for you to play along. Keep an eye out for the membership, and we will talk more soon. Did I say, go love up your beastlies? Please go love up your beastlies, because you never know what tomorrow's going to bring. <laughs>